to the table for the play experience. Um, we also wanted to explore uh, new ways of playing where the kids uh, interacted both with the physical objects and the digital objects. Um, we know from, that from, from our test that there is a lot of fluid play when the kids engage with their products. They go from uh, uh, screens to uh, toys to uh, books and other media. And uh, for us, making a, a, an experience that cut, took all this into account from the very beginning was something we wanted to try. And uh, really, it's about role playing, expanding the way the kids role play uh, and creating a living world around all these sets. Uh, for that, I will show you. I have a demo for you guys. Uh, we can either choose with the graveyard or we can do the demo around our laboratory. And before we dive into this, I would like to tell you that this is, a, this is our hidden side world. It's, uh, it takes place in the town of Newbury, and our two heroes, Jack and Parker, they are uh, teenagers, they are uh, bloggers, and uh, they are normal people, but there's something not normal about the town of Newbury. There is something aloof, and uh, it's because it's, uh, it's, it's haunted. There's ghosts everywhere, uh, a bit like in real life. Uh, but uh, Jack and Parker, they can actually see them uh, with an app, a special app they have on their phones. And uh, that is the same app I will I do have on my phone. I will have a demo for you guys. Uh, so uh, uh, a bit of show of hands. Who wants to see the lab and who wants to see the laboratory? All right. <laughs> it's, it's early in the morning. Fair enough. <laughs> you said the lab both Tell times. Us what you All right. Uh, let's go. Sorry, the, the graveyard. Let's try, let's try the graveyard. So what we really want to do, it, this is a mystery, it's an exploration where we want to find out where the ghosts are hiding. So we have three phases in this, uh, in this world. One where we uh, have to find the, the points of possessions where the ghosts have uh, entered the world. Once we have found these points, we have to de them. And finally we have the third phase where we have to catch the ghosts. Here you can see the unique ghost for this world that is coming in and is taking over the set and possessing it. We can create the world around it. We, have, we really want the kids to start exploring it and we want to bring stories to them, uh, see the lore and uh, really encourage their fantasy to take off with all the small details we can put into this. Let's see the tree here. And the rest of the guys. So what we have to do first is actually look for these points of possession and we do that by exploring our set and uh, interacting with our color wheel and we do that by simply looking at it and we're going to start activating a radar that allows us to explore the set and find where the ghosts have actually last uh, entered the set. What's here? Last one. These points that I'm looking for, they are different every time I load the app. So there's also a, a, a sense of discovery. And uh, they can be both placed on the model itself, as you can see, but it can also be placed in the digital world in the background. So we always have uh, the, the opportunity to uh, add new elements throughout the, the life cycle of this experience. Uh, now that we have found these points, we actually have to degloom them. That's what, that's, and uh, we do that with a small mini game, where we have to uh, uh, tap the screen at the right moment. And, so, and, and different things can happen. We can get some uh, uh, gloom points that we will later use to uh, upgrade our phone and become better ghost catchers. Uh, or we could even have some small interactions with the set, uh, which we call hands on bricks, to discover the, uh, where the ghosts are. In this case, it's asking us to interact with the set. And now this is what makes this truly unique, is the fact that I do have to do this, activate it, interact with the physical, going back and forth from the digital and the, and the physical world. And uh, you see, I collected a special object that I will, I, I will need to uh, uh, use to get access to the final ghost in this set at the earlier stage. Now you can see also the minigame gets a bit harder. And 
now we place our guy here and analyze him. So now we can see that he was also possessed. This is again how we want to do the hands-on bricks interactions, getting back and forth. And we can see now that he's completely possessed, so we can depossess him. And hopefully we got our very first ghost. And now the game changes a bit of a state. It's the last stage where we go from a more uh, exploratory phase and a bit more slow-paced mystery solving to a more action-oriented phase. And here the ghosts will behave differently, throw different objects at me, uh, have different attack patterns. This one is uh, still not too mad at me, but the more I attack him, the more he's going to get uh, hectic. And uh, if I abuse, my, my crosshair, I can also see it gets smaller and smaller, it gets harder and harder to, to uh, catch him. So it goes a bit to a more action-oriented phase. He is really mad at me. <coughs> and let's see. Let's see there. And now I caught the very first ghost. Uh, of today. When, uh, will, when I meet him again, this ghost, he will become stronger and faster, so there's also skill-based uh, uh, play here, and, uh, and uh, I, need to, I would need to use the room I collected from, like, to, uh, to operate my phone and, and uh, have a better chance of catching this ghost. You see, in our collection, we will have many different types of ghosts, where we can read about them and uh, see what makes them special. And not only that, we can also research them so we can learn more about them. And at the same time, uh, uh, they will basically become also stronger and make it uh, challenging and fun again to catch them. Here you can see the town of Newbury. And uh, of course, everything you see here now is still uh, in a demo phase and we are constantly improving it and we will throughout <coughs> launch and after. But uh, for the on the town here, you can see the different sets, uh, and for each of them, you can, we can access them and play the different uh, AR experiences for them. <laughs>